hello students welcome to engineers academy do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time now we are going to solve this problem which says that the triangular plate abc is deformed into the shape shown by the dashed lines if at a the normal strain in ab side is 0 0.0075 and average normal strain in side AC is 0 .001, 0 0.01 and gamma XY the shear strain here is 0 0.005 radian determine the average normal strain along edge BC. So we are required to find the average normal strain along BC. So now let's uh, name these two points. Let's say this point is C dash and this point is B dash. So A, B dash, C dash is the a deformed triangle so we are asked to determine the average normal strain so the average normal strain in bc will be equal to the final length of bc which will be b dash c dash minus the initial length so the initial length will be bc divided by the initial length or the length before the deformation so this using this formula we will be able to find the average normal strain along the edge BC so we need to find this we need to find this and using these these uh, given data so first of all we are given the average normal strain in edge AB or side AB so we can say that uh, this will be equal to AB dash the final length of AB minus the initial length of AB before deformation divided by the initial length AB and if I multiply both sides with AB uh, if I multiply both sides with this so we will have the equation like this we'll have and if I bring this to the other side of equation so the equation will look like this we will have AB dash the final length of AB dash will be equal to AB plus AB into the average normal strain along AB and similarly if we take AB common so 1 plus sigma EAB so this uh, this is AB dash so the final length of AB or any edge will be equal to AB plus 1 plus the normal strain along that particular edge. So this will give us AB dash, this length from A to B dash. And similarly, we can say that if we want to find AC dash, and we are given the normal strain along AC, so we can say that AC dash will be equal to AC into 1 plus EAC using the same derivation from that uh, EAC formula so now this is this is our equation 1 this is equation 2 now if I put the data in equation 1 so for from equation 1 we can say that AB dash is equal to AB so AB is given AB is 400 mm this is 400 so from A to B is 400 so we can say that 400 into 1 plus EAB so EAB is 0 0.0075 which is given so this is equal to this gives me 403 mm so this is AB dash the final length of edge AB similarly using equation 2 we can say that um, AC dash will be equal to AC now AC is given AC is 300 so we can say 300 into 1 plus EAC. Now EAC is 0 0.01. Here it is given that it is 0 0.01. So this will be 1 plus 0 0.01. And this is equal to so 303 mm. Now we know AC dash. We know this length. We know AB dash. And if somehow we find this angle, then we will be able to find B dash, C dash. Since we, we want to find this, and we can find this BC by using the right angle triangle by using the Pythagoras theorem. We will be able to find BC. 
and to find b dash c dash we must use the law of cosines for this triangle for this distorted triangle so for that we have to find this angle so the initial angle is 90 degree and this final angle will be 90 minus this angle so we are given gamma xy in terms of radians so we can say that gamma xy the shear strain along the xy axis between the xy axis is 0 0.005 radians and we must convert this into degrees so we can say that 360 degrees is equal to 2 pi radians radian will cancel out and we can say that this is uh, 0 0.005 multiplied by 360 divided by 2 pi so this gives me 0 0.286 degree angle so this small angle is 0 0.286 so initially this angle is 90 so this will be 90 minus 0 0.286 so we can say 90 minus this answer which will give us 89.714 so we can say that this angle is 89.714 degrees now to apply law of cosines we know a b dash we know a c dash so we will be able to find b dash c dash so we are going to apply the law of cosines so we can say that b dash c dash will be equal to a a b dash so a b dash is 403 so 403 square plus a c dash which is 303 square minus 2 into 403 into 303 and cos of the included angle between this side and this side between a b dash and between a c dash which is 89.714 so 89.714 so cos of 89.714 degrees so let's find this and taking the square root and this gives us b dash c dash equals to 502.990 mm and similarly considering the right angle triangle abc we can apply the pythagoras theorem so bc will be equal to ab square which is 400 ac square which is 300 under the square root this is equal to 500 mm so this is the initial length of hbc and this is the final length of h bc which is b dash c dash which is 502.990 so using this formula now we can find the average normal strain along edge bc so the average normal strain along edge bc is equal to 502.990 minus 500 divided by 500 502.99 minus 500 divided by 500 so this gives me average normal strain along edge bc is 0 0.00598 millimeter per millimeter so this is the required answer so i hope all this discussion will help you in your learning do subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problems from mechanics of materials by rc hibbler